Hello and welcome to another episode of The Aftermath. This is a big, special, yeah. big special episode today. My name is Ian, and as always, I'm joined by Dylan. Yeah. But we have Ethan back in the studio. <laughs> I didn't die, don't worry. It was, just, it was just the hospital, I'm fine. Right, and then we also, uh, we got the correct summoning rights. We got at least a rain around, and we rolled a summon chase. Yes. He's got a day yeah. off, and we got a rain. Yeah. I, there's a third we, thing. We I, brought up we brought energy drinks in here, yeah. So he's he's back. I love yeah. big special episodes. Yeah, nice. I, I feel big and special uh, coming out. Last <laughs> um, so this week, I'm gonna just say candidly, right off the top, I, this is one of my more favorite movies we've yeah, watched. What in a the long heck? Time. Really? But real quick, briefly, we were like, you know what, Dylan? I I'm still not feeling like super super good. Let's watch something silly. I just want to watch a bad movie and roast it on the podcast. And he pulls out the Scott Pilgrim. The movie. Versus the world. Yeah, and it's a freaking banger. And I'm like, no, I, I wanted to watch something bad. <laughs> no, as not soon, some, as, soon like, as I saw no, it, I was I like, still, I thought you're picking a bad exactly. movie. I was well, like, I is this realize. Pot Skilgram? Are you joking? <laughs> and I was like, man, I didn't even take notes because the whole point of me, like, I didn't want to take notes. I just wanted to, like, watch something on the podcast and may, maybe talk for a bit. I still don't feel that good. Wait, we're supposed to take notes? I usually <laughs> I usually do. And there's, like, one scene that obviously I'm going to mention, but, like... I, I just want it was a good movie. Oh, it was a great movie. It was a good well, the thing was I didn't realize it was so highly regarded among <laughs> my peers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, you want to why? Because it's a damn good movie. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really why. just a goofy movie. You yeah. don't have to really yes. think about anything. Exactly. So. To be fair, it's been like a hunk of dumb fun. The ending, I, you know, I'll be honest. I'm not even gonna say it yet, but the ending was great. Mm. Even though it's not, I wouldn't. You wouldn't expect me to say that. The ending was great. Um, yeah. I mean, e- but the thing is, like, even like you're saying, like, it's a big, like, like a mashup of dumb fun. Mm. But like, the problem is, it's like, executed uh, perfectly. It, it's that's what I'm saying. With a bunch is of that high name actor, like, like high have, dollar. Actors. I have seen some like dumb fun movies that I'm like, it's hard to watch because I'm like, I can't. It's so, <laughs> I can't. It's not structured. The well, cringe you know? was killing me at points, but it was good. <laughs> but, yeah, but it was delivered in such a really great way that I was like. I, I would love to watch this movie. It's great. Yeah. It's funny. It's, oh, I, can it's tell funny. You, I can tell you about a plot to a movie. Uh, these people get kept getting killed by accident. Like, yes. For example, one guy literally ran into a tree and stabbed I'm his guessing, own throat. I'm guessing and this is a bad movie you're talking about. Oh, it, it was it was pretty dumb, but okay. they kept thinking the hillbillies over there were killing <gasps> killing them. Yes. Wait, yes. I know exactly wait. what you're talking about. Wait, yeah. wait, what is, I can't remember what it's called. I can't either. But it they... They got even got a cop to come, and yeah. the cop did something and ended up killing himself. <laughs> Super what? funny. I think, the, I think I've heard of this somehow, and it's one of those bad movies. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Just, I think uh, everybody, like, the everyone hillbilly died. was chasing after the guy, going, hey, man, are you okay? And then the guy <laughs> ran into a tree and killed himself. Oh, my yeah. God. Mm-hmm. All right, so now yes. for the big news okay. I wanted to say. Did you guys hear that Gilbert Godfrey died? Yes. yes. Yeah. Not that long ago. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if that was already on the podcast mentioned, but no, like, we haven't mentioned on the podcast. But we did talk about it because you know, iFunny like, funny is a reliable news source. No, no. that's not where I heard. <laughs> Do it from. not speak that name <laughs> he, here. He died. He died ten days ago, and yeah. I was like, no. But what about his his meme of him saying that yeah. he's shitting and pissing and coming? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> it was real. Sa- I got real sad uh, because we were like, I had heard about it over like a YouTube video that happened like the day after. And uh, it just made me think about that meme that we were all laughing about. And I was like, I'm yeah. glad that he was such a... He, he got one a, last good banger meme well, well, in there thing, what, like, right. like, right. If you know him like as a comedian, he was like always wanted to just try and make people laugh. Just mm-hmm. and, yeah. and just that was like a big thing. It was like, you know, just... He was only like, laugh, what, so. 60? Something like that, something. yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. I don't know anything I, about it. I just I know that he had some he kind of cancer or something. I just know he died recently. Yeah, and I was like, no, no, but... But Gilbert, the one and only. Yeah, yeah, he's he's excellent in everything he's in because he's freaking hilarious. He played God in uh, one video I saw. I don't remember what the video's name was. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, and he <laughs> played he played the bird yeah, in Aladdin. Yes, yeah, oh, he did. Smiling friends. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Smiling yeah. friends. Yeah. Um. Well, that was that. I just yeah. I, I was like I real I I think I realized a couple of days after it happened I learned yeah. about it. Yeah. But I was still like no Gil- Gilbert man. Gilbert no. Um. <laughs> Gilbert, come back. Okay. Gilbert, come back. Italy, Italy. <laughs> you can blame it. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Um, back to the movie. Yeah, no. So Scott Pilgrim has to defeat seven exes. That, that was... That In was, order to date one... To date. Just date. One no, no. Girl. He was dating her the whole time, just nearly dying the whole way. You know? <laughs> yeah. I think he just had to conquer... That's how she explained it. Yes. If we're going to date, you got to... Kill you my seven to, evil exes. You have to execute seven, seven men. Evil exes. Again, all the henchmen don't count. They're all lemmings. You have to execute right. seven men. The rest of them are lemmings. <laughs> all the ones, all the ones that I, killed. I, my favorite part was when he restarted the level in the movie. I think that executed that so well. <laughs> He's yeah. like, your club's trash and I got beef. Yeah, I love right. that part. That was so good. Oh, man. 
But I don't even really know where to like start though, because I just, think you said you're pompous. You're pompous. You're <laughs> you're pretentious. Your your pret- sucks. Yeah, yeah. I've got beef. Like let's go. <laughs> let's yeah. go. Let's fight. But it's just like um, that's it, so good. Because like it's based on the game, right? And like yeah. the game is it based on based, the game or is it other, based all the way on around? the novels by Brian Lee O'Malley? Which, which, so, what, so the novels came, but then the game came after. What, what came first? The, the novels. So, so what came second? The, the game. I no, think. I think it's the game, not the movie. The movie. Oh, oh really? Huh? Yes. I would have thought it would in the game, then the movie. Nope. That's wild, actually, because I thought, still, the other because the game is executed just so well. It seemed like yeah, the movie The game was... takes more inspiration from the books than the movie. Well, yeah. I mean, it's actually like a mixture of both. Hmm. That's really wild. I really thought, either way, the game is, is amazing. So oh, yeah. That. Um, but yeah, no, it's <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, it's like super funny. I don't even a know. A lot of big name actors. Exactly. There's some big almost, name almost actors in every actor film. in oh, there yeah. is like pretty high dollar <laughs> for, yeah. for, for mm, 2010, yeah. especially. Like, um, for sevens. <laughs> yeah, his Captain little, America. little cameo for a moment. Yeah, no, his character was hilarious. <laughs> Before he became <laughs> yeah. Captain America. Lucas Lee. Yeah. I love it. Oh, man. Uh, my uh, Who's everyone's favorite character? I think I already kind of spoiled mine. Who's everyone's favorite character? Hmm. I got to go with Todd. <clears throat> Todd. Which Todd. one's Todd? The, the vegan. The vegan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, God. He's, yeah. he's pretty Todd funny. The the I like the way he defeated the vegan, which, you by the way. You once were a vegan, yeah, but yeah. now you yeah. will and be gone. And the guy's like, wait, <laughs> vegan? And then he got punched in the face. That was great. He got headbutted. All he the, all so the, hard he exploded. All the really crappy one liners are awesome, by the way. Yes. Oh, man. It's They're so, awesome. But it's no, so um, funny. Okay, so that's good. Chase, who's your favorite character? Oh, God. I don't even remember the character. What's the guy? I think I know his name. Never mind. I want you to remember one name Chase? Just say a name. Chase. Okay, know. Ramona. Okay, I thought you were going to say Scott Pilgrim. Favorite, though. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't know. I liked everybody. Okay. All right. Ian, who's right, your favorite that's character? Fair. Uh, the thing is, I'm also biased because a lot of the actors themselves. Doesn't matter. You can pick the, the girl who plays uh, Julie Powers, uh, um, her actual name is Audrey Plaza, and she was she's the one who's who's the the working every job. Yeah, right. Julie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, she is super, so super annoying, but was well played. I, I love I love her as an actress, regardless, and yeah. I think she's so funny. Her role um, done well too. I like Michael Sarah as an actor as well. I think he's. <laughs> I've been told I sound like him, and I, I don't know how to sound on the podcast, but I've been told in I my sound first like my first few jobs, whenever I, my hair was a little bit shorter. Mm. I had people say I looked like Michael Sarah a lot just because of yeah. my mannerisms. I'm thin and kind of awkward. Everyone's and, like, take know. it as a compliment. I was like, I mean, if every role he plays in the movie is super awkward. So if I sound right, like him, right. I feel like it's not a compliment. But exactly. I, I, you know me, I take everything as a compliment anyway. So I'm like, yeah, sure. You can insult me. And I'm like, ah, thanks, bro. And just move on with my life. <laughs> it works like a charm. My mental health is epic. <laughs> 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 you can straight up roast me and I'll be like, ah, neat. That's funny. And yeah, how's on. it going, shoeless person over That's there? Like, you can't even <laughs> afford shoes. Dude, my patients call me a leprechaun and now it's just a nickname. They can't they can't I, win. I told my parents right. about that yeah oh, good i hope that they call me that too is that right like it's um yeah I, my I, favorite character was probably wallace the gay roommate <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta be honest. I was just saying it before the podcast but like he yeah. it, he's he his relationship with uh um scott pilgrim really like resembles my relationship with my current roommate and my best yes. friend of like 13 years <laughs> and it's like m- maybe me and my best friend are like a, like a little bit closer and like not as I don't know aloof as they two are for each other, right. and also neither of us are gay. I guess there's that. I would kind of have to say he describes Nick pretty well. He, oh, d- he does. He goodness. does. Even though <laughs> even though even though Nick's not gay either, I, I do think that you're on the right track. Oh no, same same mindset though. You're like same everything right. else. Yeah, but like I feel like their relationship's perfect, where they're both just like uh, I don't know how to describe like the way that they treat each other, but it's like it's like hilarious. <laughs> even whenever you first meet him, and it's like Wallace, twenty two. Uh, rating seven point five out of ten. Like, that, <laughs> that's something that I would say to my about about Nathan. I'd be like, "Yeah, it's Nathan. Yeah, yeah. I give him like a seven. You know, like I've known him for a while. I'm not gonna kick him out yet. You know." <laughs> like, I said that at work to somebody. I'm, they're like, "Oh, how do you feel about this?" So I said, "Ah, oh, four. They're like, "Out of ten? Uh, then I was like, "Nah, just, four. Just four. <laughs> I'm so happy that you took that. That was the thing that you say a lot, and I still kind of do. Where if you say it's a four, and they're like, "Out of what? Out of four? Or out of uh, ten or five? And you'd be like, "Ah, I don't know. It's just kind of like a four. Then you can't tell if it's good or bad because four out of ten is pretty bad, but four out of five is great. So yeah. you can just say four and just it's move on with my above, life. It's either just above average or just below average. Exactly. Like it's like four out of five is like pretty banger. Four out of ten is like you know you're not that bad, right? It's so like no, and everyone's like everyone's confused. You just kind of move on. You're does, like yeah, it's like a four. You know? Does everybody just have a rating system for their friends? No. Oh, no, I, no. I give you about. I'm saying in general. Two fish Just sticks for and a five. Yeah, my, my rating system. Fuck you. <laughs> Damn. My rating system. I'm worth more than two fish sticks. At least five. Wow. All right. You're bold here. Okay. That's a lot of fish sticks. All right. It's enough. Do you it, see the economy? That's a lot of right fish now? sticks, especially considering I can't. Can the, we, can't the economy's <laughs> in shambles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Look at me. 
Okay. You're worth um, about a quart of gas. Who is this? Kill you. Who just that's tried to? A, that's about twenty dollars. Anyways, as I was saying, the uh, the I loved the the way this movie played out. Mm-hmm. The uh, man, I'm telling you, the <laughs> roller coaster of <laughs> scenes that was the first few minutes of this movie was crazy <laughs> yeah. because it was like it it's, felt, it was so hard to keep because up with. It, well because like it, it was it was easy to keep up with when i realized what was going on but like the camera cuts i loved that like the shot would would be one thing and then it would literally jump cut to it being daytime in like of the of the same shot yeah and it was like super quick and i it was so nice mm-hmm. it, i loved all these like little uh, little quick transitions that if you weren't really paying attention, like you didn't really pick up on, I loved it. I liked all the little yeah. pals and whams that were everywhere. Oh, yeah, the little comic book whams, yeah. 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 I'd, I'd yeah. still have to say my favorite part out of the whole thing is knocks on door. Hey, oh, yeah. Scott here. He just <laughs> literally <laughs> jumps through a window. I was waiting to mention yes. that. It's so iconic. Yeah, just love it. I could watch it so many times. I think oh, man. Every, is like, yes. is Scott here? And he closes up and like, uh, nope, just left. And you see him just dive through <laughs> the window. And shatter then, through the and window. And then Walsh awkwardly is like, yeah, uh, you just missed him. He grabs grabs his coat and you can see him running in the background. Yeah. I want to say if anybody <laughs> has ever seen even a snippet of this movie, it's, it's probably that, that it's scene. That. Oh, yes. I, I've seen that on like online. It's been sent to me before. And honestly, it, it, watching it again, the funniest thing. Oh, oh yeah. We, like, all, it does, we it, all busted a gut when it that It did not get old. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh. So this this movie was, uh, it is it, it it feels so of its time. Mm-hmm. It, it was it was released in two thousand ten, but it definitely feels like the early two thousands. Yes, it has that feeling of like this this kind of grungy rock era, mm-hmm. my, like my era of like <laughs> my teenage years, because yeah. like two thousand five to ten was like my like teenage prime kind of. <laughs> and so like I, I say that obviously like really joking. I feel much more confident in myself now than I was then. But <laughs> it was like it was a time whenever like all that was like super fun and cool. I was, I was still rather young, but I mean at the same time I, I does still feel like this movie was was from twenty ten. Mm-hmm. Like even though like, there's yeah. some there's some things maybe I think it was a little bit older, but I think that was it kinda, feels in, like it feels very in it feels like it was almost two thousand eight to me. That, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. It feels, it feels, I think they intentionally made it feel a little bit older though. I feel like something about like maybe the way the books were I feel like there's just a few things they did that made it feel like it was just a little bit older than it actually is. Yeah, oh, well, I, I, the, uh, I just think that the fact that it's it is two thousand ten, it is on like that transition like because mm-hmm. I think like things started like changing like yeah, as like far as like the, genre and all stuff, all the girls around. with the colored hair and the yeah the around like <laughs> well now colored hair is like a red flag. twelve thirteen fourteen all that kind of <laughs> stuff you know but uh yeah I like I, that I like that they did change her hair color so frequently in the movie though. Yeah. like it's great she's like I did, like every week and a half you have to get used to it I was like that's yeah great. there's actually a funny bit in the books about that oh really, oh, really? they have to like actually describe <laughs> what the color is because it's all in uh, black and white. Oh, wow. oh, really? That's amazing. Yeah, they didn't mm-hmm. even. <laughs> I like that a lot. Actually. How funny! Mm-hmm. They didn't ever uh, color it in. No, no. I, oh. I can it imagine has a them few just colored th- pages in like the first few of one of the. Volumes, I can imagine them sure. just like putting a bubble. Like, by the way, this is like a greenish now. <laughs> just kind of like <laughs> yeah. so, like you're, it just seems like they'll be in for the book. Like, yeah. Right. I like also the scene where the uh, whenever G Man finally like offers them the the contract, <laughs> and while yeah. it goes like that, it just points to his crotch, says P. <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's perfect. Wait, what? Uh, whenever of, yeah, whenever Gideon <clears throat> offered them that uh, three album contract after the show with the Katayanagi twins, yeah, yeah, Steven straight up pisses himself after. <laughs> <laughs> and, the and there's a little, there's see a little era that. while like uh, while Scott Pilgrim's like getting mad and is like you're gonna have to find a new bass player just points and he's like P <laughs> it's him, him pissed his pants. wow and it's oh, all, speaking the, of. all those little arrows are like the funniest thing it's, it's just oh, so yeah. well done speaking of real quick yeah, yeah, did, did. did you piss yourself Chase Chase did, did, did somebody anyway, piss my of pants something else <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta say my other little favorite edit they did in there was um they're mentioning his past girlfriends, and they're like, oh, yeah. And then there was Kim. The camera pans to Kim with that horror sound effect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I like how he's like, he drew the sword. He's like, Scott learned self-respect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plus seven boldness or something. Yeah. That was so funny. Yeah, where can I learn that? Yeah, oh, yeah, Chase. Don't worry. We'll, we'll take, <laughs> we'll find dr- it drink you. some more rain. You'll find some, you'll find some yeah. self-respect. I'll the, just find myself staying up till five in the morning again. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Big deal. It's fine. Gotta the, be in there somewhere. The thing is, like for this, I I loved how much of the special effects like felt really in the world. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of these special effects things, and it felt like it I was just, so seamlessly integrated that even though I it love was, how like, everyone dropped pennies when they died, <laughs> oh, I love yeah. how well I, I love how I well done the editing. I was. didn't realize. I think it. that's why I thought the movie was based on the game, not the other way around, because. 
it just seemed like them dropping the pennies was the game, and they just yes. put that in the yeah. movie. Well, no, because it does happen in the books. I, I'm not, but again, I haven't read the books. I don't, I don't know. I just well, know yeah, I just I the game. So I was like, I just feel like that seems more like a game mechanic that he's like, oh, cool, pennies. Right. The, but the thing <laughs> is, he never keeps like, any of them I, for not I having a job. But I, I mean, love the fact that, like, that if you at the ending of the movie, whenever he like defeats all like the the goons or whatever, uh, you see a shot on the ground, and it it actually is just Canadian change, yeah, mm-hmm. Canadian one dollars. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, because there's like I was saying there's loonies and toonies, which is like one dollar and two dollar coins, oh, okay. and pennies, nickels, and dimes. Region accurate. I was gonna say so we're talking about a movie in Canada, and of course it pans down, and there's just like bunch a, a bunch of like one and two dollar coins. Some of them actually like some of the Chinese currency that, but again, yeah, I, I, you showed me. I remember you showed me some of the notes whenever you were, whenever you came back from Canada, and I was like, those look like. The one coin notes of whenever I was in China. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody, like, you don't use those because, like, I liked the coins a lot, so, but you don't get them very often. So, whenever I went on the bus, which only costed one coin, which is like nothing, it was like 30 cents, by the way. Wow. Every time I went to the bus, I always used the paper one coin notes because I, I liked the coins. Yeah. And so, sometimes I would give them, like, a higher note because I, I didn't have a one and I would actually get a coin back. I'd be like, yes. Yeah. They're still in a box somewhere. Well, little, little, well, Canadian little, little Chinese one dollar coins. Canadians are, don't have uh, one and two dollar like uh, polymer notes. It's all just those coins. Coin, yeah, hmm. and so so the only polymer notes they have is five, ten, uh, the one, twenty, and fifty. The I ones think. in China were wow. like really small and a hundred. They were like, like they were like they were like they were like, they were like that big. Like they were like they were like really small yeah. little paper notes. That's why the coins were so much cooler. Interesting. <laughs> but, I uh, don't have. I don't have. I think I have like maybe five of them in my little box. Um, oh, I got a. Ha- I had a whole handful of like yeah. Canadian money. I probably have the better part of fifty dollars in yeah. U.S. money and just Canadian money. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> right. Probably somewhere. I mean, I, to be fair, I brought back a hundred, hundred, hundred Chinese yuan note and a uh, one thousand rupee note. Really? Uh, and I, my goal is to one day get like a shadow <laughs> box and put it next to like a hundred dollar bill and all the yeah. places that I travel in. Nice. Um, by the way, I was speaking of Nepali rupees. I was invited by someone who apparently like stays there to mm-hmm. visit them sometime and come back. Really? They're like, oh, if you like it. They also asked where I stayed, and I was like, I don't know. There's only like, in all of Kathmandu, only like three of the roads have names. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know where I stayed, but there was a whole lot of, they were like, that's, that's, a, that's a loaded question I just asked you. It's a good point. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, so maybe one day I'll get to go back, and I'm really excited. I loved it. I loved visiting. So what would you guys describe this movie in three words? Video game boy. Wow, he just clapped back. Yeah, how's it going? I kind of want Chase to go next because I'm still thinking a little bit. Oh, hard, I'm not sure. Again. Hmm. I would say if not, I'm ready. If not, uh, high velocity angst. I would say uh, I would say uh, seven murders girlfriend. <laughs> seven <laughs> murders girlfriend. Um, right. Man Gr- oh, actually, no, no. Better uh, fi- final answer: girlfriend murder trial. There, <laughs> there you go. go. Hardcore death courtship. Yeah. <laughs> that one's a good one. Or too. sex bob. What Drop money sex when Sex bomb, 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 yeah. bomb is one word. Yeah, sex bomb. Okay, and then he was like, "And we're here to talk about sex and make you talk sad about stuff. death and make you yeah. feel sad and stuff." Yeah, that was it. Yep. I think my three words would be: drop money, wind die. Drop money, die. Yeah, right. Go. No, wind die's hyphenated. It's <laughs> one word. <laughs> wind die. Yes. Oh man. Nice. It, yeah. Uh, man. Punch death pennies. Um. Punch death pennies. <laughs> that's my favorite rock band. That's, yeah, that's actually the new hit album. Yeah, yeah. we have. Uh, I would say it, it's definitely one of those movies that's like a one-off, like one of a kind. Yeah, you're oh, not gonna dude. find. Definitely. There's not gonna be like another Scott Pilgrim vs. the World movie. No, right? There's man. not. I don't. No. It's not. Not even close. Like even other silly movies that may try. It's not even. Like even though even though it is. Uh, uh, probably cringy in some of its it's, its supposed delivery, to be so it works. Yeah. but like yeah. it's it still has its fun. It's still f- very funny. It still has oh, its yeah. charm, and I love the story of the relationship thing. Mm-hmm. It's not it's not oh, yeah. perfect. It is it has its problems. And they've been going for a bit. I can mention the ending. So like, no matter which way you cut it, like it's gonna be it's gonna be a happy ending. But I, I was joking the whole time. I was like, I swear to God, if this guy has to has to murder seven men for the, to, <laughs> to, to get with uh, Ramona, and then he yeah. then he gets back with knives at the end, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah. Right? <laughs> not because that's a bad ending. That's that's a good ending. It's kind of what you almost expect from like a good ending, where he mm-hmm. realized all along that she was a good girl because like her character, which well, was also really well played, and I liked her character a lot. Oh but yeah. Like, her character's like really nice, and even though he, they try to make her off as like kind of annoying. Like, right. they're, still, they're both kind of awkward and get along really well. It's like you kind yeah. of expect it to happen. The ending though is like super, like kind of cheesy, happy, where she's like, "No, go be with her because you like her." And, and I'm she too d- cool for you. Yeah, exactly. And I'm too cool. It's just a, a good line. I like that. Mm-hmm. And even though the ending's like 
almost like corny level of happy. I feel like for right. this kind of a movie, I would have been disappointed if it ended a different way. Yeah. So this may be like one of the, it's one of those few exceptions where like the happy ending is the one that I wanted. <laughs> Cause normally I'm like, you can't get too happy of an ending. It's too cheesy. But with this one, it, it, I don't know, it kind of fits. Mm. I, I liked it. I, I thought I was, I was yeah. pretty happy with that. Well, nice. I will say, uh, you know, when he ha- whenever he has that wheel in his head, of thinking of what to say. <laughs> oh, he's yeah. like, oh, I got a pee. I, I got a pee on her. I got a pee on her. Oh, my God. I I say it, was, it was who, her, and then I got a pee. And then he just yeah. went, I, I got a pee on her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's me whenever y'all are talking to me God. sometimes. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely a chase when he's trying to flirt. The wheel rolls, and he's like, well, I got a pee on her. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go pee on her. Um, like, <laughs> That's definitely that's. Oh man! From yeah, now from now on, if you take a while to answer me, I'm gonna be like, "Is the wheel turning?" <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna picture a wheel of your responses turning, and all of them are gonna be hilarious. Yeah, because I'll say stuff that sounds funny to Dylan sometimes, and he'll just like <laughs> correct me or whatever. That's usually what's going on. And you were yeah. like, "No, no, I meant what I said." <laughs> oh man. That's so crazy. Oh, man. oh, my other favorite edit was, uh, we need stalkers in our band. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, point, it points to like knives with a little... Yeah, yeah. she's like little, right behind them. A little arrow above her. Face again. pressed against the window. I like how nobody noticed her either. <laughs> yeah, right. not a, yeah, I'm so very surprised that nobody noticed because that was terrifying. How you want to <laughs> know a couple of fun facts as you guys are talking? Wait, real What's quick, that? before we do that, also, the vegan punched the dye out of her hair. Funniest <laughs> oh, shit. Punched the dye out of her hair. He punched the dye out of her hair, man. No, no, I, I the he, vegan he said, showing he up. He said, you punched her highlights out. Yeah. He punched her <laughs> highlights out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That honestly yeah. was yeah. Like that the, actually happened. Whenever, whenever he, whenever oh, he, whenever so he good. punched her, you there was a blue splat that was you like yeah. flinging off of her head, oh, that's and I was great. like, did they? Did he just do that? And of course, <laughs> yeah. she falls. Her hair's all black, and there's like blue smudge behind them. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, no freaking way! He punched her highlights out. The, yeah. the vegan was a really good fight. I like how the way he defeated the vegan was by like making him lose his vegan powers and <laughs> yes. then just punching him in the face. Just drank half crazy. and half, bitch. You vegan drank police half didn't half care if you and they were like, don't wait. I also like how he was like, don't I get three? strikes and they like list off random two strikes <laughs> right. Chick- you had chicken, chicken parmesan wait, chicken parmesan's not vegan you're not gonna go isn't vegan smoking eggs bitch yeah exactly. <laughs> smoking <laughs> eggs bitch oh man. and then he uh he just yeah then he just punched and they're also they're not the police they're the vegan police right so, yeah so right, they, right. he murdered a man they're like eh that guy's not vegan anymore i don't care <laughs> right he lost his vegan powers doesn't matter right. i'm pretty sure they ran off with their hands in the air going yeah yeah, 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 they, yeah. Definitely, yeah. they definitely got did, back in their little they, smart car they definitely did the little jump heel touch and high-fived each other for right. sure yeah um, <laughs> it says uh, before car. <laughs> before the uh, before the cast started on filming the movie, they were given a list of ten secret things about their characters. Mm-hmm. One of them being that Julie Powers, the the character that works all the different jobs, apparently has a massive crush on Scott um, during their like high school. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, during their college uh, time or whatever. That's funny. That's mm-hmm. funny. Damn, a little fun. Really little good tidbit. for her cursing her out. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, yeah. <laughs> And it kind of does add to the character. I feel like they did a really good job. Like all the actors, pretty much executed their roles like pretty really well at the, oh, yeah. at the time. Uh, at the point of them working on uh, the filming of this movie, like like as it was beginning, uh, there was only two books that had actually been written oh, in the series. Oh, really? Yeah, so really. There's more uh, than that now. So it's crazy. There's like because of this, some lines like- of the movie were actually. Uh, uh, like some lines from the movie actually make it into later editions of the book. Oh. So, mm. wow. how, how fun. Mm, I, I was gotten stumbled over my words a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, it sounds like one of those things where um, you'll ask people on the internet, hey, what's some ideas for this? And sometimes they'll come up with way better ideas than you could ever think of. Right. Yeah. yeah. This feels like a very, like, like a... Almost like a, a like a really silly like intentionally silly like fanfic made into like a movie. And like the book is the same thing where it's like like this dude just like made up this really stupid story and was like, you know what? Like, I'm gonna. What are you guys doing over there? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna make this like shitty fanfic, and it was like really funny and just kind of. That's what. That's the whole thing feels like. Yeah. A fanfic of what? I don't know, but man, he's really chugging that rain, bro. <laughs> he's really, he's really going he buck wild. I heard the, I heard the can crinkle, and I was like, man, he's to finish that. <laughs> so the past, the past two episodes, we watched the. Sponsor. We watched the two installments of Kill Bill, Dylan mm-hmm. and I. So we've been, uh, I love those been killing Bill. So, yeah. much. so we've been, um, we've been really big into uh, Quentin Tarantino movies right here. Mm-hmm. Um, it says that the title sequence idea <laughs> um, didn't come about until late in the production process after it was suggested by Quentin Tarantino. I will wow. say, I hate that yellow truck. Wait, the what? pussy wagon. 
Oh, is this a Kill Bill reference? It is I haven't a Kill seen Bill it. reference. Jeez. This is, I was, this is for me being, I love <laughs> me me being dead for like movie. a month. Right. I, I'm already out of the loop. I Still don't... will say that that's the movie that gave me uh, the fear of being buried alive at like eight years old. Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> you watched that at eight? I Jeez. I was watching a part of <laughs> Listen, it with buddy, my dad. You, you watched Carpenter's The Thing at like six. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> All right. I, I was watching it uh, a little it's bit different. with my dad. I guess no, it's he, not. It's worse. I guess he had either seen <laughs> yeah, some of it before. But it was on live TV, I think, so they probably took out all the more bad stuff, I guess. More bad. All the big bads were out, oh, but the man. small bads, they got to me as a kid. <laughs> small bads. I don't know. That's the only thing I can really remember from that movie, though. Don't sweat the small bads. That that one, <laughs> that and that one snake lady and that one whistle they have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and the pussy wagon. <laughs> <laughs> it says, though. This movie sounds uh, like a, a roller coaster having. Oh, knowing it is. Literally, it, dude, it, it, is. it was. Knowing literally nothing it. about it. This sounds like a roller though, coaster. Though part of the film. Uh, Though part of the film is about Scott being several years older than Knives, in real life, Ellen Wong was actually is actually three years older than Michael. That's kind of what I figured. I, <laughs> yeah. I, her character. I feel like wow. that. I just knew that would be the case. I yeah. don't know how. That's Similarly, funny. Anna Kendrick is also older than Michael Sarah, but plays his younger sister. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, Damn. She, Ella Wong was uh, Knives. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she was. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. and she also auditioned three times for the role the role of Knives. Um, and then got the director's attention after he discovered that she was uh, a green belt in Taekwondo. <laughs> oh. And it was her wow. film debut, her that's first cool. film. Wow. And, oh, wow. And if that's her first film, she freaking killed yeah. it. Oh, what are yeah. you talking about? <laughs> yeah. That was her first film. In that case, she like, I thought her role was good anyway, but she killed that role if that was her first film. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's really and impressive. If that's your first film, that's a pretty high budget film. Mm-hmm. At that too. But I'm just saying like... At, <laughs> Cause that her character was played really well. I feel like. Oh yeah. She captured like the the angst, young. She had like all the emotion. She like conveyed it really well. You know the guy. Uh, his real name is Johnny Simmons, and he played young Neil. Yeah. You know <laughs> Neil. He, I'm gonna call you Neil. Yeah. What a good time, coming of age. Right, and he got points for that too. Yeah, he, being, got, he got points. Good Every line he said there with the mm-hmm. self respect lines, he got points for it. Right, exactly. It said that he got offered, he got offered the role over Facebook. Wow! <laughs> Dude, imagine getting Facebook Messenger for, like yeah. your role for a movie. What do you do, guys? What are you guys whispering about? It's creepy over there. Just, just keep saying Chuck. He doesn't Chuck. remember Chuck. Chuck. I, I, yeah, I know the Adam Project. Another movie I haven't seen. Oh, shut seen. up, Chuck! <laughs> that's a, that's movie All the seen. X's have references to their numbers throughout the film. Mm-hmm. Todd Ingram, also known as the uh, vegan. The, vegan, Super the vegan. vegan guy, was the third evil ex and wears a shirt with the letter three yeah, on it. Yeah, he does. I noticed I'm that. Sorry, oh, the sorry, with, oh, I'm sorry, the number three. But it's actually, it actually says a shirt <laughs> nice. with three stripes on it. They had the, the, the number and three. the number of three yeah. on the front of it. You know. That's crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. I thought it was funny that... Uh, uh, what's the main guy's name again? Scott. Well, Scott, Scott. Ingram? Can't even remember the movie name. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, wow. I thought I was... Wow. 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 I thought similarly, I it says, similarly, as he is not an evil ex, Scott wears a t-shirt with zero on I it. I was just about to mention and that. And he also <laughs> drinks a bunch of Coke Zero because that's what number he is. <laughs> Technically, he is the zero, but he's not evil because he's good. And, and that's what I'm saying. He's not yeah. the evil ex. He's, yeah. the, he's the... He's the he's the number letter zero. Maybe I'll go find uh, the, the actors, shirt zero. It, it says the actors playing the vegan police were the only people in the movie <laughs> over the age of 30 at the time, <laughs> of the, <laughs> the time it was made. <laughs> I, I really... Oh I'm actually God. really... Ha- I like the fact that the vegan police yeah. are the only people over 30... <laughs> Jeez. And I still did the jump high five too with the <laughs> smart car. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> this seems like every single character and even probably the people who were like the directors, everyone seemed like they were like 25. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Everybody. It, it, it's what the movie feels like. But again, it just works. It, it works too well. Mm-hmm. Oh man. <laughs> Bill Hader does all the voiceover for the film. Uh, for example, when Scott earns the power of self respect. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Scott earned the power of love too. That was good. That was a funny one. The heart <laughs> sword that he had. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it said that Michael Sarah is actually a musician and Pulls he actually like played. <laughs> he played the bass. Yeah. in the movie, which is actually really cool. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, those who played those, the, uh, those who instruments. couldn't already play an instrument had to actually learn them. Learn. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's really yeah. cool. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, they had to teach me. That oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I can like I can learn quick because I've been around music my whole life, but I was never good at it. So you're gonna have to like they're gonna have to teach me. 
it said yeah. that uh, Edgar Wright, I think, who is the director of the film, wrote a letter to Nintendo for permission to use a song from The, the Legend of Zelda, yeah. mm-hmm. which is called uh, the game's... Wait. In which he called the game's music nursery rhyme for a generation. <laughs> nursery rhymes for a generation. I, li- I like all the video game sound effects. The little Sonic oh, coin. Yeah. Oh, coin yeah. I love all that <laughs> stuff. It's so good. <laughs> it, was, it was great. The yeah. door. The first fight is like hilarious to me because like you don't <laughs> know that apparently Scott Pilgrim would fight and he just like kicks this one magic guy's tail and you're like, yeah. wait, how did he, what, when did this, <laughs> when did this nerd learn to fight? Like what? And he just, that's, it's hilarious. It says me. that the door with the star on them yeah. uh, that Ramona keeps traveling through is actually a reference to Mario games. Mm-hmm. Oh, I did that's not know that. Highway. It, it felt like it had to have been like a Mario or like some other game, like the, or like the door to kingdom hearts or something. It felt like it was a game reference. Well, <laughs> I love how she, at the end of the movie says, Oh, I don't want to keep dragging people into anything. It's like, they're all dead. There's yeah, exactly. to drag what do you mean? I killed them all. Drag who? I had to murder okay. seven men to get so with you. A- after this, <laughs> the only after, one left. After this fun fact, I want to speak on something that we talked about with Kill Bill. Oh, perhaps. Which is very apt for this movie as well. Mm-hmm. It said that the original ending featured Gideon turning into a robot that was actually scrapped. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? And, it, and to be honest, this movie, we had talked about this in the past two Kill Bill episodes in that the Kill Bill franchise feels an awful lot like uh, No More no more Heroes, mm-hmm. which is a game uh, franchise, yeah. because you told me is that I think No More Heroes takes some inspiration Heav- from... Some heavy inspiration. Some heavy inspiration from Kill Bill. Mm-hmm. This movie has, like, it's almost as if they took inspiration from No More Heroes. Oh, yeah? It is wild. <laughs> it is off the wall. Combo counters. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, exploding coins and stuff everywhere. A guy everywhere. going 600 miles down a rail yeah, or, skateboard. Yes, exa- it just feels <laughs> over the top and wild and crazy. And, and exploding, mind you. Right. Like, laser katanas, and it just has all that. And again, the fact that, like, they're talking about all these... And, and again, if for those of you who may not know, No More Heroes is like a... It's a third-person action game slash. Life. But it's basically but like, everything we mentioned: the, exploding coins, laser no, 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 swords. No, but no, but what I'm saying is, is the core plot. You are an assassin. Yes, you are that? this huge fucking nerd. Right. Like mm-hmm. I'm talking. Yeah, he's king. pretty much yeah. your king. Motel having loser. Yeah. Who somehow gets roped into these assassination rankings? Right. And has to kill each one like down the ladder to be number one. Right. Well, and so, and again, very much what this movie is, mm-hmm. is you have these seven guys and you're trying to like take them all out to get right. to the end, end all be all kind of thing. Yeah. Which is I mean, very the interesting. This is like really similar. Right. I was yeah. watching the I movie and I was like, the, this yeah. feels very, again, also because it's like outlandish and kind oh, of yeah. like comic booky and, it feels very much like what a No More Heroes game would be like. If you like No More Heroes and you haven't seen the movie, you should watch it. Yeah, it just, definitely. It's, it, it's good fun. It's mm-hmm. The scene where Scott opens the door uh, to Ramona took over 30 takes for Michael Sarah. <laughs> Uh, just to throw the package over his shoulder straight into the bin <laughs> behind him. <laughs> wow, I'm happy good. that that was a real thing. Yeah, because whenever nice. whenever she actually agrees to to go out with him or whatever, he, he, he takes he it, he signs the package, and throws it over his shoulder, and it lands right in the trash can. <laughs> that's <great. laughs> And it took 30 attempts. Um, that, that sounds about right. Mm-hmm. It said that Edgar Wright, um, the director, encouraged the actors uh, to not blink during takes uh, <laughs> to give it a, a more uh, feel like anime. Wow. Yeah. That's, That's a detail that I wouldn't have noticed until you said <laughs> yeah. it. But also, now that you mention it, I I can like it. It, I, it, it feels yeah, like it. No, crazy. I can I can see it. And honestly, yeah. it, wor- it works. It does. Mm. But also, like that, it conveys that emotion. Now that you've said it, I realize that. Yeah, I feel like they never blinked. And then, last but yeah. not least, are you guys ready for this one? Here's it's a big one. Do it. There is an alternate ending in which Scott ends up with knives. Oh well, oh, that's really? that's really not. <laughs> well, that, that's not that surprising. Okay, oh, that, I feel like that's that's a. That's kind of what you start to expect toward the end, right, that's, in a way. In a way, like what you should expect too. becomes the unexpected. I think that's why I like the ending, maybe. It, supposedly like, on the deleted scenes of the DVD wow. or, or the Blu-ray extras, there is actually a that last like that last sequence wherever he, he's walking out with his... Mm. Uh, what is it? His, with, with, his nega with, self. With nega yeah. Scott. He's yeah, a pretty yeah. cool guy. We actually have a, a, we lot, actually have a lot in common. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The yeah. whole We're conversation. Brunch next week. <laughs> I, I actually have the YouTube clip right here, which is a... Uh, Maybe we'll watch it after. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's actually really cool. And, wow. Yeah. And they end out, they end out the night 
playing their fancy DDR. Oh yeah, Japanese. Which I, DDR which ninja I think game. is the only reason he knew how to fight this whole time. <laughs> DDR ninja <laughs> game. He is kicking tail at it. And, right, uh, right. Yeah. How fun. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Dude, what a fun movie. Oh, it was, yeah. uh, dude, it was. Uh, it had that level of comedy. It achieved that, the horse sense level of, I thought this was supposed to be bad and it was good. <laughs> oh, so does it get, it, does it get the, uh, the chud, uh, the honor- chud award? Honorarily, it gets the horse sense award. Okay. Yeah, because it, I okay. mean, it, unless, it's, yeah, I was sick for so long. I don't know where we're at in awards right now because I was just out for so long. Right. <laughs> but uh, now that I'm back. We haven't um, really added any new awards. And but, trust me, there has not, also, like, there has not been anything that has achieved the same yeah. level of the chud <laughs> awards. So like, right. I, we watched chud this year, which means that Chud's probably going to still get the Horse Sense Award. Cause oh, hands <laughs> down. Because I don't think that... I didn't expect this to be bad enough to to do that. You know, like, right. I expected Chud to be crap, and it was amazing, right? <laughs> I came... I didn't even come... come I didn't even come searching for, for copper to find gold. I came searching for shit and <laughs> found diamonds, <laughs> right? <laughs> and Chud, Chud was just too good. So like, Ethan's over here Ethan's thing. over here shoveling manure and finding freaking right. uh, yeah. hard rocks. <laughs> and finding, yeah, finding diamonds up in this. So, so uh, it can't beat Chud for that, but it, if Chud wasn't an option, oh, this, would, this would oh, get yeah. the Horse Sense Award. The, <laughs> we need to come up with a name for that award. I thought it was just called the horse well, sense. I know, but, yeah. but it needs to come yeah, up with it's like shifting in between like chud and horse sense. But like but the problem is horse sense was the first one, so yeah. it, that's kind of why. It, yeah, yeah, I think that, it, that horse sense was obviously the one that is the uh, <laughs> it's the one the that progenitor. started the progenitor. But yeah. but what I'm saying is like like you know there's like the Oscars, there's the, uh, the I like the chuds. I do actually. <laughs> the chuds. <laughs> Does the it get the chuds the award? <laughs> The, yeah, yeah um cannibalistic human <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> you better know that shit by heart if you know me is it the is it the sin the sense award <laughs> does it get the sense award they can just call yes. it the yonts i don't really know the yonts <laughs> oh my oh god oh man this the yonsies this the yonsies <laughs> <laughs> the yonsies oh man anyways i love my yonts and elden ring <laughs> oh man what a fun time oh. dude oh man I don't think I have anything else to say about Scott Pilgrim versus yeah, the world. I think that's really it. It was uh, it was good. Uh, did he really versus the world though? He kind of. There's a point was, in the movie where like yeah, you do world. really feel like everything's against him. Yeah. At one point oh, you're like, it down. really do be Scott Pilgrim versus the world, huh? Yeah. I do have uh, all the books. If any of you would like to read them, I might actually take you up on that. Yeah. Considering. Pretty funny. So. Interesting. I'll eat them to learn. The How knowledge. many do they have? <laughs> Osmosis. Uh, good there job. are six in total. Books? Yes. Oh, Interesting. Okay. So yeah, that means did they, they stop making them now, or yeah, it's finished. Oh, okay. Yeah, I feel like I thought so. I thought you read anything else the writer did? Uh, I read Seconds, which was another novel he wrote. Interesting. How, how was that? Good. Was it still in like uh, the comic book manga style or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It was, it was pretty good. I liked it. Oh man. Well, at least he didn't <laughs> go. All right, time to write the. Th- 400th uh, oh, novel God. of this Scott, series. Yeah, yeah and like that's been going they all on have kids now. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> awful. That's man. been going on for 12 years. <laughs> right. Besides Berserk, that's the one. I was going to say, I was going to say, oh, Berserk. <laughs> that, that's, that is so, the one exception because right. that, that's Who's good. your guys' favorite band in this movie? Wait, what are you talking band? about? Sex Bob What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, the Sex Bob Bomb. Silly. I got to go with Crash and the Boys. <laughs> Crash and the Boys. Mm-hmm. Hey, wait, is what that girl? Isn't she a boy? And she said, yes. Oh, yeah. Just that's flipping you off. Yeah, that, that girl was a, a boy. Child. No, was, <laughs> yeah, just a little child. I gotta be honest. Second favorite character is that that girl who's a boy. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. second favorite character was that, that. That was that was a good one. Right. Um, <laughs> I, I I the thing is the the, the 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 first probably fifteen to twenty minutes of the film feels kind of like a fever dream Exa- up until up especially until that because he has dreams that confuse you. The first time he's like sleeping with Ramona, I, 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 the whole time I was like, is this a dream? It feels like it's dude, dream. He just okay, had dreams. There's one other part I want to talk about in just a moment. But I'm talking about it feels like a fever dream up until the point whenever the first uh the first uh, of the seven deadly axes uh, de- seven exes, evil axes. Seven yeah. evil axes, whatever. I it is. thought you were about to say the seven deadly axes. <laughs> the seven axes. deadly sins. <laughs> Anyways, it's whenever he shows up, and it feels that's when I was like, "This is a No More Heroes game." Yeah. <laughs> he shows up, he's it like, does. "You're gonna pay for your treachery," and I'm like, "What? Is, what is going on? Wait, Wait, who are you? Yeah. Wait, why are yeah. we fighting? You didn't yeah. see my email? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I skimmed it. You're gonna pay for that. That's a good point. Right. You're gonna pay for that <laughs> for skimming the email. I feel like that's <laughs> oh, the right. or the other part. These where, days, uh, I feel like I am paying for skimming emails. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe oh, not in the fist oof. fight, but yeah, these days I'm I'm looking at email. I'm like, yeah, I don't need to respond to that, and then they get in trouble a week later. Like, did you didn't you get the email? Uh, <laughs> no, it must have gone straight I, to spam. I, I did. <laughs> or the other part where uh, the one guy's like, "Oh, do we have to fight? 
No, we don't. No hard feelings. Let's go get a beer. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Bam. Wait, you didn't know about the League of Exes? N- no. Oh, no hard feelings. Let's get a beer, man. Let's get any punches. In. Instead of the fake out, like in the book, he actually like picks him up, dusts him off, and he goes and grabs some coffee with him. Oh, really? <laughs> no they just sit on a bench for a bit. <laughs> that's funny. How nice. Mm-hmm. That's, that's actually, I like that. I kind of thought that was going to happen. I was like, I kind of like that. I mean, they're going to fight again <laughs> right. later, but for some reason, this is really the, the part that made it feel even more like a fever dream is after he meets Ramona for the first few times, and like he really is infatuated with her. That moment, whenever he is not present and thinking about everything else, mm-hmm. whenever he it is, skips so many, skips. dude, and it's so good, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. it feels like he's it, losing it, time, dude. It feels and, like he's in it, like psychosis. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it makes you feel like you're there with him mm-hmm. because he has this moment where he's like looking, and he's like, "What?" Like in this scene, asking what for something, and then of course the camera cuts to like to the like person going like out we, I've totally already different. told you this and he's like wait what I'm so yeah. where am I yeah. and of course it it's cuts again they're and on he's their way like, to like this party that they're going to and he's like man this is gonna suck yeah <laughs> immediately cuts and like this sucks yes <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy it was so good I like this movie a lot yeah Hey girl, are you interested in Pac-Man lore? <laughs> Honestly, uh, guys, I'm using oh, the, I'm using yes. the Pac-Man line. I'm using the Pac-Man line. Uh, uh, that's got to happen, man. I mean, you the thing do is, your research. dude, worst comes to worst, it doesn't work. But honestly, <laughs> if the Pac-Man line works, dude, imagine if Scott Pilgrim's Pac-Man line works, and I like, I'm okay. <laughs> and I just and I just get a second date, you know. I'm telling you, like if the, the Pac-Man line works, and I get a second date. That's impressive. The comedy <laughs> in this movie is. It's all about timing with this stuff. Yeah. Because, like, even... I'm thinking about it. Like, even whenever he's talking about that, whenever she shows up at his door, and she's like, are you the Pac-Man guy? And he's like, no, obviously not. No, that's that's just he, some that was some loser. That's some weird ass, yeah. 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 I was the other guy. <laughs> but not only that, I, it's also the fact that whenever um, Envy, or I guess Natalie, whatever her name yeah. is in the movie, Couldn't whenever she you. whenever she calls him, <laughs> and is like seductively asking him like oh are you so alone or whatever and he is he's, and she's like oh so what's her name and he's like I want I'm never gonna tell you Ramona <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like damn boy. it worked really, it folded the way, it, 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 no, it, he didn't even fold it was like it, it, you could yeah. tell he didn't even try, it was like I'm not gonna tell you Ramona like I'm not gonna tell you Ramona's <laughs> name you it's Ramona it's like he was trying to say I'm not gonna tell you Ramona's name and then realized they said Ramona he's like I'm yeah. not gonna tell you Ramona <laughs> 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 I love that. I just mm-hmm. it's. Uh, I can't hit uh, girls. They're soft. I can't. <laughs> I, I don't have to hit girls. They're they're soft. Right. You don't have a choice. And then she's like holding his hands. And she's like slapping her. Yeah. <laughs> what a weird the fucking puppet style. Uh, what a weird sequence that what was. What a weird execution as well. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. They, when we don't stop talking. I get it now. <laughs> poke her in the back of the knees. That'll kill her. I love <laughs> the fact that like they're they're talking as if it's slow motion because they're kind of <laughs> right. slurring their words. There was this one time when we were making it. That's enough. I don't need any more. She was just okay. Yeah. Never mind. But it wasn't actually slow motion. I, I right. felt like it was actually them just slowing yeah. <laughs> their <Yeah>. words, <laughs> like it, yeah. tripping over their language. Uh, How fun! Yeah, man. What was, what was you guys' uh, favorite X out of the seven? Oh, favorite X? Oh, probably the vegan bro. Honestly, <laughs> the vegan yeah. powers was so funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, the vegan powers were. I liked crazy. Gideon a lot. Yeah, I love, I love like the fake out where he's like, you "No, made me swallow my gum." <laughs> yeah, that was. A it was just in the, my digestive tract for seven years. It was just the, it was the fake out where he's like, "Hey man, no hard feelings. It right. is what it is." And you're like, it's hard. It's like that. It's the like kill him with kindness kind of. And feeling. Then, but then Wallace again, my favorite character comes in and is like, "Never mind, finish him." Finish that <laughs> I was guy. like, right. "Yes." <laughs> I, love I know it. that Wallace is just trying to get laid and wants to kick him out, but also <laughs> you got a good point. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, I love you, Chase. I what? love the ending. Who was your favorite ex? Oh, God, that's a tough one. Probably the vegan guy. The vegan had force powers, <laughs> Just Just because he was so over the top. <laughs> right. Exactly. They, <laughs> yeah, over the top is uh, not um, an understatement, understatement at all. Yeah, was, oh, man. <laughs> Just because if you were watching it for the first time, you're like, wait, what? He has powers because he's a vegan? Right. Yeah, and I think the best part is the way he got his just a vegan powers. Yeah. The way he lost his powers is just the funniest thing to me. And they were yes. like, you had, you knowingly had chicken parmesan. on. Wait, that's not vegan? Stop trying. Also, the, <laughs> also right. the fact that they didn't have guns. They were just using their fingers. Yeah, la- <laughs> yeah. Those lasers. Yeah. Yeah. They fired they, like a beam. They had, yeah. they had vegan lasers. Yeah. yeah. Gosh, how funny, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I need to text my vegan friends and be like, hey, I have questions. <laughs> hey, uh, so they sent him off to vegan school, yeah. Vegan right? Academy. Oh, vegan yeah. Academy. Yeah. You just oh, text God. your vegan buddies and you're like, hey, man, why didn't you tell me you had powers? Where is this academy? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I kind of want to go to Vegan Academy, guys, I'll be honest. 
That's the best part is also like one of my the previously mentioned friend of, of forever. Uh, he actually yeah. he actually did whenever he moved he like he left state for work and he was like he had like a whole bunch of weight. I was like two hundred seventy pounds. He lost like eighty pounds being vegan. And, so, and he kept the weight off, too, afterward. Like, he swapped his diet back. So he's not vegan anymore. But I was like, right. to be fair, his superpower was going down to 190 pounds and being, like, kind of lean. <laughs> like, Damn. he kind of he did get some vegan powers. Uh, That's crazy. He was vegan for a pretty good long time, almost a year, I think. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. He was, like, to be, he was like kind of hated it at first, but he said, like, I found some good recipes, actually. <laughs> so, I mean, after a year, you have to, but. Uh, yeah. yeah. So. Well. Oh man! What a that what was, a fun romp! Dude. That was a good that's one. A, I think a good uh, movie. I I loved how wild it was. <laughs> yeah. It just it felt it, it was good. It was good to to watch a. I kind of feel like movie. most things that Michael Sarah are in are kind of wild like this. Yeah, but this one's a really good example. Yeah. I think it's yeah. a really good one. Well, you have anything else you want to add? Uh, Any favorite that. moments? I mean, obviously the one where he jumps through the window. I could watch that <laughs> six more <laughs> <one> times. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally that's it. Yeah, you just missed him. Yeah. <laughs> I think another favorite bit of mine would be uh, whenever Gideon's like on his knees after he got his shit rocked. <laughs> he's like going th- through like, do you know how long it took me to oh, get yeah. all the excess two contact and information to form this stupid league? Mm-hmm. Like two hours. <laughs> and then he like two hacks up hours. a coin. I was expecting like yeah, two years. He coughs up pennies, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah I, love I love that he coughed up pennies there. Yeah. yeah. I love and the little pixel animation was nice too. Yeah. It, was of, it was just a really good movie. Oh yeah, a lot of fun. A really cool aesthetic. Anyways, thank you so much for listening. If you're trying to find us, uh, type in the aftermath on all the major podcasting platforms. You should be able to find us, or you can type in Linktree forward slash Ian Wolf, and you should be able to find links to all of our stuff there as well. Um, and if you can, give us a five star review. It means a lot, and it helps out the show. Yeah. 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 Anyways, until next time, thank you so much for listening. See you. Goodbye. Bye-bye.